Hoffet, everybody. Welcome to Health, Home, and Lifestyle. I'm Sabrina Salas Matanani. In Health Check, we talk with Public Health Chief Medical Officer Dr. Felix Cabrera about summer travel and what island residents can expect if they plan on taking off for the summer. Dr. Cabrera recently returned from a trip to Saipan for some R&R. He tells us what you can expect. Health Check is presented by Island Cancer Center. Back to the motherland. Uh, <laughs> so what was, um, you know, it's it, the last time I had been uh, on Saipan was December of 2019, uh, the early part of, tw of, of December 2019. And I had not been uh, been able to visit a uh, home in, in that amount of time in about a year and a half now. And so, you know, as soon as the, the, the CNMI announced that they were going to uh, have these uh, uh, opportunities for quarantine exemption, uh, if you've been fully vaccinated, uh, you know, jumped right on the opportunity and said, you know, I think it's time for me to finally take a break, uh, you know, through this pandemic. <laughs> and so, uh, so even though uh, I was there, you know, still be able to do, do some telework, uh, which was, which is great, but wasn't much. And so I did get a lot of time with family and friends. And so, uh, but ultimately, you know, it was a great experience actually going through the process and it really, I was extremely, extremely impressed by the uh, how organized uh, the process was and and how uh, rehear well rehearsed they were and, and experienced in in the process. And you know, I'm happy to to discuss more of that if, uh, if you want more details. Yeah, if you could just kind of walk us through um, what you went through when you when you landed in the CNMI and well, what you uh, did before your trip to prepare. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the First thing when I when I read the their algorithm basically the uh, the flow chart um, uh, or the matrix as the, as they were they refer to it I, I I initially read it correctly that that basically if you've been fully vaccinated um, and you have proof of that vaccine which is again uh, is similar to here in Guam where they want to see that uh, if you're, like for example if you're coming from Guam you've been vaccinated in Guam they want to see that web ID uh, printout uh, of the, that proves that you've been vaccinated. Uh, in addition to your 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 uh, CDC uh, vaccination card, and the thing is that all of this is done before you even travel. So they have a health declaration form that's online. You fill that out completely, and it's detailed, and you know, and and for good reason. Uh, and so they go through that, and then you can upload the uh, you know the uh, image or the document of your uh, that verifies your vaccination, and then they review it, and then basically you get an email saying you know. Uh, you, it looks good, and then, and then you travel, and then you're already in the system as you as you go. There, you don't even have to physically. Yeah. I actually physically had my the the WebIZ printouts and the cards with me the whole time, just as a and then nobody ever asked because it was already they already had a copy of it. But um, what happens is that so you 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 go there um, and you go through the process line, and then they shuttle you directly to uh, Kanoa Resort, um, and then at that point everybody gets tested. Um, upon arrival, and not just and and it's not an antigen test, the actual PCR test. So we mm -hmm. check in, get we all got swabbed, but then they give you a room. Uh, so because the test would take about two to three hours to to come back, and so it was nice actually after waiting in line for for a long time through multiple lines, and then finally being able to get a break and just hang out in the room for two two three hours. And they get, and they fed us during that time, almost fed us twice even, <laughs> and so. Uh, but uh, two and a half hours is when we got the call saying that oh you know all of you are negative and you're you're welcome to 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 check out at that point, um, and they still kept track of us with using the Sarah alert so daily monitoring of symptoms, uh, so either a text message or a call I we would get uh, to verify that we weren't having any symptoms, and then the, the last uh, bit of this is that on day five you have to return to get retested, and so that was the that was the key difference there and. And so it was no big deal. And, and, and so that was a few days before we were gonna leave anyway. Uh, so when they're swapped again and, and got tested and at that point they, um, you know, you, you get your results via email um, and saying basically that we were all negative again. And so, so it was a really easy experience and, and it was great. Would I say I, I, I read the matrix uh, correctly the first time when I, when I looked at it again, I misinterpreted it saying, oh, I think we have to phone quarantine until the fifth day. But then that was not correct. Um, and they do want to verify your residence and make sure that your home is adequate. Um, uh, but other than that, it's not it's not a home quarantine. 
uh, during that process. And so, mm -hmm. uh, so, it, so it was great. And um, yeah, had a great time and just uh, came back in uh, uh, yesterday morning. And so mm -hmm. uh, it's been good. So I guess that brings me to my, what my experience was coming back to Guam. <laughs> And so coming back to Guam, you know, the health declaration form is, is one form and it's, it's a physical form. You fill it out, it's very quick and easy. And then um, when you, after you arrive, before you, you get your bags, you go to a, a public health a screening process and you present your, your information and, and, um, and basically they review it. And, and then it was, it was pretty straightforward at that point. Um, and, and then after that, it is you know, a form that, uh, that you're going to be, uh, a part of a reg, uh, the sour alert here, and and that's it. And so it was nice and simple. Right. They didn't have to look me up because I had to print out of my 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 web IZ, so that made it a little bit quicker. Travel tips for people who are heading out. It's, it's summer, going on vacation, graduations, things like that. Yeah. So travel tips again. It's it's really really simple. Um, you know, masks are are, are still in the uh, the key part here. If you're flying, uh, wearing a mask is, is still going to be very protective. Flying in airplanes itself is not as dangerous as you would think because they have really good airflow and air filtration rates there. But uh, masking is, if, if you can wear a double mask, that's even better uh, if you're comfortable with that. Uh, so, so that's uh, that's really something that I, I would really uh, highly encourage. And you're, you're, you're required to wear the mask anyway. Stay tuned. Coming up next, Claire with Weekly Renewal.